It's the NBA Live on 2K Sports on this Tuesday afternoon. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. We've got the Detroit Pistons facing the New York Knicks. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. And a look at the starters for the Pistons. Mahorn is out there with Lambeer. Then it's Joe Dumars. Then there's Thomas, and it's Aguirre, and at the small forward. Now, here's Dumars. Here's Mahorn, and he banks in the layup. Mahorn's got the opening bucket of the night here for the Pistons. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Here's Freewell. Accurate with a jumper from the elbow. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Thomas passes to Mahorn. Isaiah Thomas puts the pass right on the money. Boy, he's so crafty, Isaiah Thomas, and really unselfish. A pass-first point guard who knows exactly when one of his guys is open and how to get it to him. Or the pass to Houston. Kept alive. Ewing, good. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. The horn. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Pass to Ward. And so just over a minute and a half played. Pass to Sprewell. Here's Ward. There's the three. Bangs on the trifecta. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Dumars with it. Got it. Good job in the low post. Boy, they're on fire right now. Cooking with gas. Starting this one out. Four or five. Here's Ward. He's guarded by Thomas. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Here's Freewell. Aguirre covering. Shot clock at five. Here's Houston. No good on the triple. Right side, Dumars. Patrick Ewing comes up with the rebound. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. It's good. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Now, here's Thomas. Pass to Aguirre. Outside Thomas. A three ball. Sprewell grabs the miss. The Knicks with the lead. Here's Ward. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Two shots. Foul. Two. The Knicks shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Good on both. Here's Thomas. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Outside Dumont.
and Beer. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Yes, they can. They can't allow him to beat them to too many more of those. It's deflected, and it's Johnson with the jam. And so it's Detroit with the ball. They trail by three. Outside Dumars. And it's Thomas at the elbow. Here's Mahorn. No good. So New York will take it the other way. Here's Sprewell. There's the pass to Ewing. To the middle. Ward, good. Ward's got seven. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Here is Aguirre. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Now, here is Dumars. Not a lot of room. A little shot fake there got the D out of position. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Pass to Houston. Pass to Sprewell. Plenty of space. And that one hits back iron. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now, here's Thomas and Beer. It's hauled in by Ewing. Three-pointer. Houston shots good. Houston's got his second bucket of the night. Gotta love seeing Houston get space there to shoot it from deep. He is one of the best from beyond the arc. Passes it to Mahorn. Thomas, it's a wide open look. And again, it's the Pistons missing. New York leading by six. Here's Ward. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. He's got nine. And so Thomas will bring it up for the Pistons. Here is Aguirre. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Dumars. It's rebounded by New York. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion, you'll have periods like this. Johnson can't get it to go. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Dumars, the pass to Lambeer. Doesn't go that time. Johnson with the defensive effort. Here we go, all alone. Houston shots good. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Giving up too many open shots. I mean, that's what's happening here. They look to me to be a bit sluggish. And now the first timeout called here for Detroit. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. For the Knicks, Dudley's checked in, and it's Williams in for Johnson. Knicks on defense. Ten-point lead. Here's Long. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. And here again, the Knicks in transition. Up the court they go. Houston shots good. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And, you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now, here's Thomas. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. The shot by Rodman, no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Long passes to Johnson. The pass to Thomas. That's in, coming off the assist from Johnson. Here is Wingate. Outside Williams. Pass to Dudley. New York moving it around. Here's Ward. Pass to Houston. 
And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Houston's got 11. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Here's Thomas. It doesn't go for him. And New York the other way now. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Here's Johnson. The Knicks making the shot. Edwards passes to Thomas. And here is Rodman. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And as a free throw shooter, Rodman has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field. This is his first free throw of the game. free throw no good no good on the second free throw the Knicks leading by 14 Here's Wingate. Rebounded by Rodman. Now here's Johnson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Outside Thomas. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. It's good. Houston's got 15 points. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Johnson against Wingate. Johnson's shot is off. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Goes back up. Here's Dudley. Up again, no good, not a friendly rim at all this trip down. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. 158 left here in the opening quarter. Ward misses. Pistons trail by 16. Thomas passes to Long. Rebounded by Dudley. Dudley's got his sixth rebound on the night. Passes it to Ward. Here is Wingate. Inside, here's Houston. Rodman with the block. Nasty defense from Rodman, part of his signature. I mean, he's really good at that end of the floor, and he can turn shots away, too. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Johnson against Wingate. The pass to Ward. Shoots the three. Nailed from three-point land. 12 points for him. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Pass to Edwards. On the wing, Johnson. Edwards dishes to Thomas. Double team on Thomas. Five to shoot. Detroit needs to get off a shot. Edwards, that's good. You know, I think they took a bit of a chance there going to the double team, and that left another guy open out there. Wingate passes to Williams. Here's Houston. Here's Ward. 12 points for him. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thomas. About that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block. And that's what a team needs when they're trailing. Energy on D. Thank you. 
24 seconds left here in the first quarter. Shot clock at two. They get it back. Or the pass to Dudley. To the paint. Here's Houston. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. Houston is a phenomenal go-to score. He's got a smooth stroke and a nice clip from any spot on the floor. For New York, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. And here is Thomas. Lays it up off the glass. And, and though Thomas is great from the perimeter, he has a toughness and, and a willingness to go in amongst the trees and, and kind of mix it up. And so it's New York. Their lead at 15 going into the break. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. We've got more in store for you right after this. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And uh, the Knicks guys have been rolling right along here, haven't they? You got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. Pistons trail by 15. We've got Wingate, and it's Williams at the four-man position. That's the five for New York right now. Thomas kicks to Long. Here's Edwards. Rebound by Williams. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Changing ends quickly, getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. You know, they've been the more up-tempo team, clearly. It's helped them gain the advantage in this one. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. That one's in there. The next lead is cut down now to just 12 on the basket from Thomas. Here's Houston. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Wingate from outside off the mark. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Detroit Pistons. Outside Thomas. Fires it up. Detroit keeping it alive. A new 14. Dennis Rodman showing his tenacity on the offensive glass. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that time with out, enough emphasis. Out. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. will make substitutions. Ewing the pass to Sprewell. 
Wingate against Dumars. Here's Moore. He's guarded by Thomas. Here's Ewing. Plays it up and banks it in. And the Knicks lead by 12. Very self-confident in the paint. Ewing excels at scoring close to the hoop. Outside Thomas. Over Ward. Misses off the right iron. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Wingate against Dumars. Outside Thomas. Dishes it to Rodman. And Ewing with the block. Great at knowing when to time and go up for the rejection. Ewing, a superb defender. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Pass to Dumars. Fires from deep. Ewing gets the rebound. Ewing's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Sprewell. From down in the low post, it goes. Sprewell's got six. Man, has this offense been running? I'm just getting tired of watching them. Well, it's no secret. That's what they do. That's who they are. Four of their last five made baskets coming in transition. You know, the scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Check in for Dennis Rodman. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Dumars against Wingate. And they get it. Offensive rebound. And Beer, good. And Beer's got his second basket of the game. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. Here's Moore. He's guarded by Thomas. Pistons trail by 18. Out to the right wing. Outside Thomas. With some arc. And Ewing, also a dependable defender. Terrific at taking away space from shooters and, and just trying to make them uncomfortable. And that one drops. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Terrific accuracy on that pass. That's how you lead your teammate. The Knicks leading by 18. Here's Sprewell. Eight points for him. The dish to Ewing. 
to the inside. Wingate trying to get open is Johnson, and Wingate gets it to go. Wingate's got four points in the quarter. Outside Thomas. Here is Mahorn. He has six. Outside Thomas. Back to Lambeer. And Ewing sends it back. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. Just didn't get his hands up in time on that one. They weren't on the same page there. The Knicks leading by 20. Passes it to Wingate. Here's Sprewell. New York moving the ball around. Detroit with the rebound. Mahorn's got six rebounds in the game. And there's the pass to Aguirre. Right on the bucket. And just an excellent setup. Joe Dumars just plays with such poise and intelligence. The quintessential combo guard. Pass to Sprewell. Launches it. No good that time. Now the Pistons take it the other way. With a floater and the layup by Thomas. Thomas got eight points. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. New York with the ball. They led the game at one point by 20. Dumars against Johnson. Pass to Sprewell. Looking for Ewing. He gets it there. Over Lambeer. Misses the fadeaway jumper. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Knicks. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the opening man and getting some easy baskets. Something else they've done right so far from the get-go tonight is, is run. I mean, so much of their offense has come off the fast break. And free throw good for McGuire. And just a difficult cover. Uh, Aguirre's a great ball handler. And at 6'5", he's got deceptive speed. He, he can work you inside and out. Or the pass to Wingate. Beyond the arc. Aguirre grabs the miss. Pistons trail by 13. Up top, Lambeer. But they'll get another chance. Aguirre, good. Aguirre's got nine points in the quarter. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle timeout, of that timeout. defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. New York calls timeout. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. making a change here. Johnson's checked in. Pistons on defense. 11-point game. 
Wingate passes to Houston. And Houston, a, a pro at initiating the contact, an aggressive shooter who's looking for opportunities to get to the line. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. The Knicks making a switch here. Dudley's checked in. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. On the wing, Dumars. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Dumars got six. And when it rains, it pours. Another jump shot tickles the twine. Uses both hands to slam it down. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Back to Dumars. Over Houston. Dumars misses. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, They've got a big lead. Goes up from the top of the key. And Beer, good. And Beer's got his third basket of the night. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Wingate passes to Houston. Here is Wingate. To the middle. Here's Dudley. Trying to get open is Johnson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Bill Ambeer. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they break. might be distracted by your presence. Two shots. And he makes the first. Williams, he's checked in for New York. Second free throw, no good. Pistons trail by 13. Here's Long, trying to get open is Johnson. The shot by Long, no good. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. And yep, that, that's going to be one, a flagrant foul. Unnecessary contact. And, and Kevin, I got to tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The officials easily could have gone even harder on it. Greg, I agree. He better be on his best behavior from now on. One more flagrant of any Shoot variety, two. and he's out of here. The first one falls. Larry Johnson. Grandma Ma is a dependable forward, excels at scoring in the paint, and doesn't mind thumping and bumping. And both free throws, good for Johnson. Dennis Rodman, he's checked in for the Pistons. Johnson finds Williams. Here's Houston. No good from outside. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. All oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. The Pistons shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight.
And the first one drops. And he makes both free throws. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Passes it to Springwell. New York, no good that time either. You know, he's not a knockdown shooter from there, but when you're that uncovered, you almost are forced to take it. Johnson over to help. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Cool, cool, cool. You two play. And so it's New York with it. Trying to get open is Johnson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The Pistons have shot three of five at the foul line. Two shots. First one falls, and they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. New York leading by 11. Here's Sprewell. He's got eight. The pass to Houston. From deep. The rebound by Johnson. The microwave. Vinnie Johnson still cooking. 149 left to play here in the second quarter. Fires the three. The rebound by Johnson. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Pistons. That ball is in the basket. Now he's shot six and made three of them. You know, he started slow, but now in the second quarter, he's finding his groove. Sprewell, the pass to Dudley. New York moving the ball around. The high post shot. Sprewell, that's good. Sprewell's got eight points in the quarter. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Johnson in the corner. Over to the wing. Pass to Aguirre. Five on the clock. Rodman kicks to Johnson. Over Sprewell. Johnson can't hit. The Knicks leading by nine. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. For New York, they have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free that? throw shooting here. There's 42 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Pass to Aguirre. Over Johnson. Rebounded by Dudley. Dudley's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Wow, that is just pretty right there. What a find for his teammate at the rim. The next hip shot, 9 of 11 at the free throw line. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. 
But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Johnson against Aguirre. And taken away by Johnson. One second left. And so it's the New York Knicks riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their transition game has been in full effect. And don't go away. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, can't tell you uh, how, how much it means to us to have you back with us on the uh, Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, uh, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. It means oh, yeah. the world, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. So big. New York was looking great right away. They put together one great play after another, and at one point, led by as many as 17. They hit the ground running today. They were up 15 at the end of the first quarter. After a tough, hard-fought second quarter, the lead remained the same, and they still hold the double-digit advantage at the break. Taking a look at the Knicks, Kenny, what'd you think? How good are these guys on the fast break? They're pushing the ball, finding the open man, finishing strong. They're at a breakneck pace, and if they can maintain this level of intensity in the second half, blowout city. Check, what'd you think about the Pistons? Well, not at all what they envision coming to the game. Uh, and defending the paint has been the main problem. Right? They got to commit a few more bodies down low, and they got to protect the inside, protect the inside, protect the inside. And even if they do, it still might be a little too late for them, Ernie. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And so it's Detroit with the ball. Down by 15. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the floor for Detroit, Dumars is out there with Thomas. Then it's Lambeer. Then there's Mahorn, and it's Aguirre, and at the three, the small forward. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Yeah, but I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. Down low. Houston, the pass to Sprewell. Makes it off the glass. Sprewell's got 12 in the game. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedals. And they pick up two. Yeah, the jump shot of Thomas, cash money. Boy, it's nice seeing him knock down that mid-range jump. Passes it to Ewing. Here's Sprewell. Shoots over Dumars. And it's Sprewell missing. Pistons trail by 15. Here is Aguirre. Nine points in the game so far. Kicks it to Dumars. Good. He's got 10. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. New York leading by 13. Here's Ward. He's got 14. New York moving it around. Here's Sprewell. Detroit with the rebound. Mohorn's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Thomas kicks to Dumars. Back to Thomas. But Trey hits the three point bomb. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. 
Here's Ward. He's guarded by Thomas. Or the pass to Sprewell. And here's Thomas who brings it up for the Detroit Pistons. It's a 10-point game. Here's Aguirre. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Aguirre's got 11 points. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that, and now we've got ourselves a ball game. New York, no good that time either. Nothing's going his way since the horn. I mean, looks like he used up all his makes in the last quarter. It's rebounded by New York. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Here's Ward. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine, 67% shooting. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic. Getting to his spots on the floor. Tries it from 19, and off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Dumars got six in the quarter. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. I love that mid-range shot. It's definitely given the defender something extra to think about. The pass to Sprewell. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Thomas kicks to Dumas. Lock at six. Here's Mahorn. And that one, good. Eight points for him. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. That's the Sprewell. Here's Ward. He's got 16. That's the Sprewell. That shot off. Now the Pistons take it the other way. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Nice move. He stepped back and cast it up. Now just a four-point Knicks lead. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. And it's pretty well missing. Well, I'll tell you what. He's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. That's two shots. Now, two. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for New York. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed Shoot as the two. game has worn on. Another thing they've done tonight well is share the ball. So many of their points have come off of um, good crisp passes. First free throw is good. And without a doubt, one of the greatest small men we've ever seen. Zeke possesses the skill and determination to just take over a game at any point. And both free throws good for Thomas. Here's Ward. 16 points for him. Pass to Wingate. Puts up a three. Sinks the triple. Wingate's got seven. And, you know, even though he's not a lights-out shooter from deep, the defense still has to be more aggressive there. Thomas dishes to Rodney. Poked away. And pushing it up. Here's New York. Ward misses. Pistons trail by five. Inside, long, and the pinpoint pass there by Isaiah. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Good work defensively by Rodman. 
You know, that's not a great matchup, guys. He forced it against outstanding defense. Thomas. Patrick Ewing comes up with the rebound. Ewing's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Houston shots good. Houston's got 27. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Wingate against Dumars. Here's Thomas. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The Pistons have gone seven of nine from the free throw line tonight. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. The Knicks making a switch here. Dudley's checked in, and then for Detroit, Edwards comes in for Bill Lambeer, and it's Johnson in for Dumars. Falls, so he hits both of them. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency is, you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunity. No good from Wingate. And so Thomas will bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. They trail by three. Johnson. Here's Rodman. Rebounded by Ward. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. From 17 feet out, no good from Wingate. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Houston. 27 points for him. The 19-foot shot buries the jump shot. Houston's got 29 in the game. Much respect for the jumper of Houston. He knows exactly when to let it fly. Thomas surveying the D. Edwards. Rebounded by Dudley. Dudley's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Wingate against Thomas. Kicks to Dudley. And the pass to Houston. Six on the shot clock. Here's Ward. Here's Dudley. Rebound, Detroit. Edwards got six rebounds in the game. Here's Thomas. Got a hand on it. Here is Wingate. He's got seven. Pass to Houston. He's looking for Williams and finds him. Over long. It's stolen. To the inside. Rodman. And then Rodman with the dunk. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. Exactly. I mean, when you're running neck to neck, those kinds of mistakes tip the scale. Here's Warren. He's guarded by Thomas. Pass to Houston. Over wall. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Pistons trail by three. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Thomas got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Don't you love the chemistry? Those guys work so well together in the open floor. Outstanding execution. Good job working the ball inside. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. 
And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all picking sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Pistons trail by three. Outside Thomas. Johnson a wide open look. And he hits it to tie the game up. Johnson's got nine points. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And Wingate gets it to go. Ten points for him. You can really see that his confidence is at a high level here in this half. He didn't have a three in the first. Rodman and the jam by Dennis Rodman. And, you know, we can't measure Hart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset is incredible. The horn checked in for Isaiah Thomas. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Hey guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. One twenty-five left to play in the third. Passes to Houston. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. For New York, they have been getting it done at the line. 10 for 12. Taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Both shots good from the strike. 112 left here in the third quarter. Pistons trail by three. Now Johnson. He's got nine. Make it five for ten with him in that bucket. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. Here's Moore. Lambeer defended. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Two shots. And he makes the first. Johnson, he's checked in for the Knicks. He's perfect from the line this time. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 
100% since halftime. Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Dumars. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. No question about it. I mean, these teams are really battling hard now. Here's Ward. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Ward's got 20. It looked like that was going to be blocked, but then he pulled the Houdini act and flipped it in for the score. Dumars against Wingate. Dumars with it. He's got 16. Puts it up. Offensive rebound. And it's good, but hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor. Well, we thought the third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before the buzzer. Yeah, that, that's a tough call there with, with the naked eye. Fortunately, the league's replay center able to slow it down, zoom in, and check all the angles. Exactly. Making certain the right call was made. They've done a great job of speeding the process and giving the officials the information they need to arrive at the right call. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replay's here, and it's here to stay for situations just like that one. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Knicks lead by one. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. We've got Johnson, and it's Dudley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five for New York right now. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Ward's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Knicks. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Wingate against Dumars. Just five on the clock. Johnson, that's for two. And it's rebounded by New York. They led the game at one point by 20. Wingate passes to Springwood. And he overdid it there. Too much force, it looked like, on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way as much as you just saw him do there glad they pinned a, a flagrant on it. yeah you're right Greg the officials were all over it they weren't going to let him off the hook that time first one falls for him. Yeah, you, you can't doubt that Sprewell has the talent when focused, he's an incredibly efficient scorer as well. He hits both from the strike. And the Pistons making a change here. Aguirre's checked in. Here's Ward. He's guarded by Johnson. Yep, that one goes. Ward's got 10 points here in the second half. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to it? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. Down low. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And it's a nine-point Knicks lead. Now here's Johnson. To the paint. Here's two marks and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Boy, Dumars is the whole package. Joe is the epitome, I think, of the combo guard, a terrific scorer who also plays lockdown defense, 
takes pride in both ends of the floor. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Jumars. The Knicks making a switch here. Ewing's checked in. Dumars drops them both. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Sprewell, the pass to Wingate. Throws it up high. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. To the middle. Here's Lambeer. A bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. That's on Patrick Ewing. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. You know, Bill Lambeer embraces the role of the villain. Actually enjoys playing that role. An enforcer who's not afraid to get physical with anybody, no matter how big or how small. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. See, he's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Now the pass to Ewing. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket too. That's good from Ewing. The epitome of a fantastic center. A big, strong body who wreaks havoc on both ends. Dumars against Wingate. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so it's Detroit with the ball. The Pistons working the ball around now. To the inside. Down to five on the shot clock. Dumars. Ice water in his veins. Huge shot. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Here's Ward, covered by Dumas. Ward, good. Ward's got 28. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. And Beer, that's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. An absolute bully in the lane. Nothing the smaller defender could do there. New York calls timeout. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout.
on the sideline. Let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, I had a chance to listen to the Knicks coach talk about the game with his team. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. That's good from Ewing. Both good from the line that time. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Johnson outside. Back to Dumars. Pass to Lambeer. Aguirre kicks to Johnson. Pass to Aguirre. Rodman trying to break free. Aguirre, no good. The Knicks leading by seven. Here's Wingate. Rebound, Detroit. Rodman's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Count it! And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. That's on Patrick Ewing. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind a layup. Come on now. My goodness. Thomas checked in for Detroit. Free throw good, Dumars. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assist pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. And there it is for him. Boy, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. On the wing, Dumars, covered by Wingate. Right side, Thomas. Back to Dumars. Rodman kicks to Dumars. Shoots from the line. It's hauled in by Ewing. Ewing's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Here's Ward. Detroit with the rebound. Thomas got four rebounds in this game. Here's Dumars. A beautiful assist by Thomas to set up the basket. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Free throw good, Dumars. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. Or the pass to Sprewell. Let's it go. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Pistons trail by three. From deep, Thomas. Rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got four rebounds now tonight. To the wing right side. Here's Houston. Thomas grabs the board. Thomas got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Oh, 
just incredible that spin shook him loose from the defender but he just couldn't gather his balance there to follow through with the shot yeah well done to finish that one off Johnson's getting it done shooting over 55 percent five of nine shooting from the floor Thomas inside here's Lambeer and Ewing sends it back Here's Ward. McGuire covering. Passes it to Sprewell. And it's off from three-point range. And so Thomas will bring it up for Detroit. It's a five-point game. Rodman trying to break free. Dumars misses. And the Knicks with possession. They led the game at one point by 20. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm and He's really riding that wave right now. Now a timeout called by Detroit. It's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. coming up and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, one of the game's premier agitators. Lambeer can bait the foul call as well as anyone. Shooting two. Free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. The Knicks leading by six. Here's Freewell to the left side wing. Here's Ward. And Lambeer pulls it down. Lambeer's got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Now, here's Dumars. He's guarded closer. Basket counts. Dumars got 30. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect them to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change plans. Ward makes it off the glass. And the Knicks lead by six. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Here is Aguayan. Back to Thomas for three. It's hauled in by Ewing. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falls. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. 
attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. And it's good for two. Here's Sprewell. The pass to Houston. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Here's Thomas. Again, Thomas missing. Misfires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with. Tough day so far. Pass to Houston. Takes the three. Good on the triple. And it's an 11-point New York lead. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Fires high post. Dumars misses. And it's the Knicks with the ball. They led the game at 1.520. They get it again. Here's Johnson. Can't get it to go. His fifth miss and 10 shots from the floor. Outside Dumars. Here's Rodman. That shot is off. The Knicks go the other way with it. And here comes the break. Here's Houston. That three off the mark. Pistons trail by 11. Wire passes to Dumas. Pass to Aguirre. Three-pointer on the way. The Knicks pull it in. New York with the ball. They're on a 13-5 run. Down low, Sprewell. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Sprewell's got six here in this quarter. They time need a good out. offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. The horn check in for Dennis Rodman. Now, here's Thomas. He's covered closely. The shot's good. Yeah, that's the baby-faced assassin. Thomas, he'll smile at you, and then he'll cut your legs out from under. Here's Sprewell. Aguirre covering. Sprewell, that's good. No defensive pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. And here's Dumars. Passes it to Aguirre. Outside Thomas. Six to shoot. Stolen by Ewing. And now the Knicks on the break. Here's Sprewell. Aguirre covering. Sprewell, that's good. Sprewell's got 22 points. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Or the pass to Houston. To the wing on the left. Sprewell, that's good. And the Knicks lead by 16. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Here's Thomas. Sprewell grabs the miss. There's 38 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Moore. There's the pass to Johnson. And he could not get that one to go. What a contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Joe Dumars. At the line for your Knicks, Larry Johnson. At the line for two.
And that one falls for Johnson. So he gets them both. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Williams. He kicks to Smith. Pass to Rodman. Second chance shot. Rodman doing what he does best on the offensive glass. And Rodman, a solid inside score. Picture spots well and uses his body well, too. So no problem for New York as they get the win. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you later.